Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. I am back again today with another pick a card reading for you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being my friend, being a part of this community. I love you guys so much. You're so amazing and beautiful and high energy and you guys have such beautiful energy that you bring to the comment section and I truly appreciate it. I appreciate you guys keeping this as a space of light and love. Um, and encouraging everybody else in the comment section you guys are you guys are incredible i have the best subscribers ever um if you're finding yourself on this channel for the first time welcome we are a space as i said of light and love i do daily pick a card readings here i'm here every day um so if you're into tarot if you're into spirituality please pull up a chair grab a little cup of tea and we'll have a chat because we're all friends here at my table so today's pick a card reading is a look between your energy versus your person's energy. So hold that person that you're thinking about in your mind, the person you're really curious about. How are they feeling for you versus your feelings for them? It's a check-in between your two energies. We do have three piles in front of you to choose from today. We have pile number one with the orange flower and the shark spirit. We have pile number two with the purple flower and the frog spirit today. And we have pile number three with the octopus spirit and the pink flower so whatever pile or piles are calling out to you um, there may be a message waiting for you there um, as always my timestamps are listed below um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into pile number one today again this is a you versus them reading your energy versus their energy in this connection Hello everybody in pile number one. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are really well. You guys were drawn to the shark spirit and the orange flower today. So this is your reading. Um, we're going to be looking at your connection versus your person's connection. Sorry, your feelings versus your person's feelings. And we're going to see the truth of this connection. You guys were drawn to the shark spirit. So you guys could be a water sign. Your person could be a water sign as well. But what is striking to me about this shark spirit is there is a certain sense of coldness perhaps this person is um acting cold towards you or being a little bit rigid or standoffish there's just a ruthlessness about the shark um they like to be in charge they like to rule the roost you know they don't have if you look into a shark's eyes there's really nothing there if they go for they're powerful but they have this sense of superiority so i don't know if that's a quality your person has but we're going to take a look at your energy for them versus their feelings for you. So let's start with the feelings you have for your person today. How are you currently feeling about this person that you have in your mind that you're thinking about right now? How are you currently feeling about them? So we have the Empress right now starting out. I'm going to get out a few cards and then we'll talk about the energies. The King of Wands. How are you feeling about this person? The Hermit. Perhaps you are a Virgo. How are you feeling about this person? What are your true feelings for this person? The chariot. The wheel of fortune. Some powerful, ooh. And the two of swords is hopping out at me too, as well as the queen of cups. So we're gonna pull that one. And we're going to look at the back of the, I just lost another one on the floor. So we're going to pull that one and the King of Pentacles. So your guides are telling me that I'm not done pulling cards. <laughs> when I think I'm done, I am not done. Okay. The back of the deck energy is the King of Pentacles. So I'm going to pull him and put him over here to save space today. <clears throat> so let's talk about the back of the deck energy. How are you feeling towards this person? So that King of Pentacles shows me that I feel like you think this person is very attractive. Um, you think that they're very mm, stable. It's like a stable type of energy. Like they are maybe really good with their finances. They have all of their ducks in a row. That type of feeling I get with this person. Um, I feel like 
you have this determination that you really want to be with this person. Um, you kind of maybe hold them on a pedestal. I f they could, there could be children involved, or you could just really, like the Empress t speaks to me about motherhood, speaks to me about nurturing. So this could be a quality that you really admire in this person, or this could be something that you really hope to have with them in the future. So they could have children and you really admire how they handle the situation, or you could be um, hopeful that someday you will be able to <laughs> have a family with this person. We have the chariot card here, which shows the determination and the willpower. And it's also a decision making card. It's like you're trying to make a choice, decide how you want to pursue this connection. I can see that you have a lot of passion for them and you have this opinion that they are probably really passionate in the bedroom as well with this king of wands. We have the king of pentacles and the queen, king of wands here. We also have the queen of cups, which is, a, these are all very powerful energies. They all represent different things, but they're all very powerful in a cum, cumula, cumulative, I can't even say the word, but you understand, combined together, they're just very powerful energies. It's like your opinion of this person is very high and you think that they have a really good handle on most of the areas in their life and they have a lot to offer. I feel like the feelings you feel for them emotionally are pretty intense. And I feel like sometimes that almost, it almost maybe makes you feel like you are, it's more one-sided. I get the sense from some of you that you feel like it could be one-sided. Um, with this hermit energy, it just gives me a real sense of loneliness. Um, it's like you're holding a flame for them and you haven't been able to express it, but you're holding that light. And it's like this decision you're making whether or not to move forward, whether you're not, whether or not to confess yourself or your feelings for this person with this eight of wands. It is a movement card. It is about expressing yourself, news coming in and the wheel of fortune as well. I feel like saying is, you know, a sudden turn of events sometimes can come about when the wheel of fortune presents itself. So I just feel like all in all your feelings for this person you're kind of feeling determined but you're also in this decision you know do you help fate along you're you're in like this decision making mode right now the chariot is a decision card the two of swords is a decision card and it's kind of flanking this wheel of fortune it's like you know this there's something special about this connection you have this inkling that it's a faded connection but you don't know how to um, move forward yet you're still a little bit confused which is probably why you're on this video right now to try to get a handle on how they're feeling you know are they feeling the same way because I feel like maybe they're not portraying themselves or they're not showing their emotions with that shark energy maybe they're not as clear about how they feel for you and that's truly something that's probably <clears throat> getting on your nerves <laughs> get a little bit more clarity how are you feeling towards this person what are your feelings towards this person? Your hopes. We have the hermit again. So you're feeling quite lonely. This could be a disconnected um, situation where you're not in contact with them. But again, the hermit coming up twice really shows me, you could be a Virgo, but shows me that there is a disconnect here, but you're holding up that flame. You're holding up that hope, that love, because you are, you haven't decided yet how to move forward. You don't know how to move forward yet. So you're kind of stuck in this position of wanting and I feel like you've been in that position for a long time with that Eight of Pentacles, putting in a lot of work into this connection, or at least in the emotional sense. I feel like all of these Pentacles lined up represent the years going by or the time going by where you're in disconnect with this person. And you're growing impatient, I should say, with this Knight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. It's like you feel a steady move towards them. Your heart is being pulled towards them in that direction and it's taking a long time and you don't understand why. We also have the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords on the back of the deck. So maybe you're not portraying your true emotions either with this person. I feel like you're just keeping an eye on them. Maybe you're watching their social media right now because maybe you're worried about some sort of tower moment coming in um, that could shake up, that could shake up your world, shake up their world, you're worried about the what it would mean to be in a relationship with this person. And I feel like you're trying desperately to be logical and to look at this situation clearly and to get some insight on this whole mess because you're not sure how they feel and there is a disconnect here. Um, and this tower, you know, the tower is often very feared 
in tarot because it does represent, you know, outside forces coming in that are chaotic and that are uncontrollable. Um, and I feel like that's what your fear is in here is that if, if everything is revealed, there's no turning back. And maybe some of that security that you feel is kind of, or even the security you feel in just the control of the situation will be gone. So I feel like that's kind of the energy you guys are, are expressing here or feeling towards this person. Again, this may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave what does not. You just see yourself, maybe you're worried that they have a lot of competition or you have competition um, for their affection. We do have the five of wands on the back of the deck. So there's just fear holding you back here. And you're just waiting around to see how this is going to progress, I feel. Let's shift gears a little bit and see how your person is feeling about you. How is this person on your mind? I'm going to push these back since I'll probably need the space a little bit. How is the person on your mind feeling about you right this moment? How are they feeling about you in this connection? We have the three of wands to start out. I'll get out a few cards and then we'll talk about them. How are they feeling about you in this connection? The high priestess. Well, we have two out here, the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Oops, sorry you guys, we have the star in reverse. <laughs> We have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Moon on the back of the deck. So I'm gonna pull that card. Hope you guys can see that here in the frame. I know we're running out of space. How does this person feel about you? I'm going to get a little bit of clarity for one thing here. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to get some clarity on that three of wands right there. Sometimes a card gets pulled and I just want the clarity before I move forward. Okay, so let's start over here with the back of the deck energy. Your person is definitely hiding these feelings for you. They're not expressing them and there's a certain fear with the moon. It's like this blocked intuition feeling. They're not coming forward. Their feelings are submerged under the depths of this water. Their true self is being revealed. You can see her reflection and it feels empty without you and that's truly how they're feeling this person has feelings for you but they're keeping them secret and the reason why I feel like they're keeping them secret for some of you is that they are actually in another relationship or there is a third party situation that is keeping them back and the reason I feel that is because we pulled out this three of wands the high priestess and the queen of pentacles and she's climbing up a ladder here and I really wanted clarity on this three of wands and what it meant for some of you in this reading and I pulled out the seven of swords and the ten of pentacles so when I see the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, combined with this Moon card, I see them hiding um, and being kind of sneaky with the Seven of Swords. So the Three of Wands can represent a third party. The Seven of Swords shows that sneakiness. The Ten of Pentacles shows, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is all about um, a foundation being built, building a life with someone. It's about, you know, marriage and all of that type of thing. So it's about family. So I feel like this person perhaps is in a family situation and that is the why that is why they're having to keep their feelings for you kind of secret. That will not resonate with everyone, but I do feel like that is a message that will resonate with some. And the reason why I feel like it's a secret too is because I feel like it's being confirmed here with this high priestess. She sits on information that is important and doesn't share it. She has hidden knowledge that other people don't have. And then we have this queen of pentacles, like somebody's climbing a ladder. It's a ladder of stability and it doesn't, they don't want to really shake that up or that's really what is holding them back in this connection. And it has taken them a long time to want, because they want expansion with you with that three of wands. And somebody in my comment section yesterday said, you know, how can they possibly want expansion with me when they're in a third party situation? Cause this, this came up the other day. Um, and my, my answer to that is, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. You know, you can be stuck in a situation where there's, you know, family or children involved and still have your heart set somewhere else. 
it's not, a, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm just saying that those feelings exist. It happens. There are feelings of regret. There are feelings of um, not being happy where you are, unfortunately. And I feel like this person senses that too. We have this star here in the reverse position and the star is supposed to be about hope and faith and, and holding on to something that that will actually come up like just holding on to that faith that actually something good will come out of this but when I see it in the reverse position it's like a sense of sadness and and they, their hope is waning um it's like they feel like they're being ignored uh by you or by you know the situation they they're it's like in a it's not a good feeling they could see you climbing the ladder of success. They could see you um, really stable in your own life. And they have a de desperate desire to come forward and express some passion for you. And for some of you, this person is really considering contacting you in the future. With that eight of wands. It is about a communication. How is this person secretly feeling for you right this moment? We have the Hierophant can be a representation of marriage at times. It represents institutions. Um, and just somebody learning a lot as well. We have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles again. On the back of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, this person is feeling a lot of passion towards you and they really want to express it. You know, this Nine of Wands, there's a sense of being in battle for a really long time over this. And there's a sense of feeling, I get it, like with this shark spirit, you know, when I mentioned earlier that there's like a real type of superiority or a ruthlessness, I do feel like this person has that sense of like, I've been battling this a long time and they're starting to get annoyed by it. It's a sense of, um, I don't want to use the word smugness. It's like a negative type of smugness. It's like um, defensiveness. It's like, I've been holding these wands for so long, so they're growing impatient because they in a perfect world, they would like to build a foundation with you. <laughs> and I know people don't like hearing that. In a perfect world, they, they would like to see you guys together. The Ten of Pentacles is that security. They want to feel more secure with you. But this back of the deck energy of the Five of Pentacles shows the disconnect, shows that they are saddened, shows that they feel actually a poverty when it comes to you. It's like all their hope is wrapped up is all it's all wrapped up and they can't they can't see it anymore they're hiding their face from the love that they feel for you because it just feels so far away they would like to have a transformation you can see the little butterfly here but this person's not even looking at the butterfly because they're feeling so low in themselves and your person can't see a way out yet they can't see a way out of this situation that they're that they find themselves in let's ask the question their next move towards you oh. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about patience. <laughs> Being patient, unfortunately. The Magician. Their next moves towards you. The Two of Cups. Oh my goodness. So this is really a call from Spirit. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse position on the back of the deck. It's interesting because we have the Five of Pentacles here. The Five of Cups are all about regret and looking at what you don't have versus focusing on what you do have and so with the in the reverse position it's really a lightening up of that feeling you know it's a lightening up of those emotions and it's a call from spirit for you to take a look around see what you do have in your wheelhouse asking about their next move towards you we have the seven of pentacles the magician and the two of cups so the seven of pentacles is talking to you about patience and about how you've had to show patience in the past with this connection and this magician shows perhaps communication coming in from this person. The magician is ruled by Mercury. He is the communication planet. So this could be somebody coming forward and communicating with you for some of you. For, uh, and the Two of Cups, again, represents that soulmate, represents a relationship. So for some of you, this person's going to, after a time of patience, <laughs> unfortunately, is going to come forward and maybe offer you a new relationship. For others, those of you who are resonating with the fact that this person's in a you know, maybe a, a third party situation. And it doesn't even have to be a, a, another person. It can be family. It can be a job. It can be anything that's distracting them or keeping them from you or making them feel like they can't approach you. The third party can even be on your end, really. Like it's just anything that's holding them back from coming towards you. Um, and the magician is a call from some of you 
a call for some of you that you are a manifester, that they are a manifester, that they're creating their own future through their thoughts, feelings, and actions. It is a call for action. It is a call for you to focus on what you really actually want because if you focus on it with faith, you'll get it. So you have to be careful about what you want sometimes. So do you want this connection with this person? And that's really what this is a call for. Let's get some romance oracle cards for you. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. This card shows up when it's like a really flirty type of relationship that's never quite gotten off the ground for me. So I don't know if this person has been very flirty with you in the past and left things up in the air. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. This card is really giving me the sense that this person would love to travel with you and kind of whisk you away under the cover of darkness. <laughs> it gives me that sense of hiding things with the moon in the background and just kind of whisking you away to a place where nobody knows that either one of you. Whoops, we got some things. We got three falling out. So we have soulmate. We have the two of cups coming up. We have retreat. And we have worth waiting for. Let's move these down so you guys can see them all. So the soulmate card is pretty self-explanatory. We do have the two of cups there. So for some of you, you're feeling like this could be a soulmate connection. Your person also senses that there's something special about you. But I don't feel like they're as enlightened as you. I don't feel like they're as far along on their spiritual journey as you are. The retreat card really shows me that there is a disconnect here. That this person has pulled away from you. And first, you know, we have the worth waiting for card. The divine timing card. Hoping that with time, with patience with the seven of pentacles that you will that there will be a place for the two of you and always remember that in soulmate situations we have do you want me to as well for the first reading in soulmate situations um you may have spent many lifetimes with this person i have to keep these urges hidden I dream of having children with you. Wow, <laughs> you guys. I am in love with you, is what your person is saying. Even if they're not showing it, they have these deep feelings of affection for you. But they almost feel like this person gives me the sense of not really being able to show their true feelings very easily. I want to make things right one day. On the back of the deck we have, I'm in love with you and no one knows. So I'm going to pull that one over here. Let's get some Cottage Oracle cards for you too. What does this person feel, thinks for you? What do they wish they could say to you? I fantasize about you. Spending time in fantasy land, dreaming about risking it all, I feel... I'm trying to become a better person. And that could really be where that Hierophant card comes in. You know, the Hierophant is about climbing the ladder of success, trying to do the right thing, trying to do what is just. And I'm missing you regardless of how things are on the outside. No matter how they're treating you, they're saying that they actually miss you, that they actually have feelings for you. And that's sometimes a, a hard pill to swallow. Don't give up on us. Because truly actions do speak louder than words. And it does get frustrating waiting around for in a, and just for inaction. I'm coming forward with an offer. And for some of you, I do see a lot of movement here. I do see communication. So I feel like you guys need to be ready. Um, but again, be sure of what you want on your end. Don't be overwhelmed by a, a sudden connection or a sudden contact from this person. Make sure that you are completely, you know, that's a call from spirit here from, with the magician card, I feel. Truly being secure in yourself and understanding what you want and what you deserve before this offer presents itself is very important. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. I'm losing hope. And we had that star card in the reverse position. So they are, you know, wondering if, if there's hope here, if there's an actual future. Let's get some charms. See how this reading... ends up for you. Oops, sorry, you guys. Let me bump you. 
Okay, so let's take a look here and see what we have. We have today the six of beautiful, beautiful six of cups and the world card. So the six of cups is a beautiful card for me. It's my favorite card in the entire tarot deck. It's really about nostalgic, innocent love. There's such a feeling of generosity there. Um, so it really represents, you know, past relationships, somebody from your past, um, that wants to come back. <laughs> we have the world card here, which shows the need for closure in this connection. And, you know, the possibility of, of a successful conclusion is really, it's there. There is, there is the hope for that. We have J and Q today as our letters. We have a little cherry. Sometimes you guys, when I see that, when I see that cherry, I think of somebody who, um, maybe was your first time. So for some of you that may resonate, we have the shoe showing that they want to come and make moves towards you. We have this and every fair from fair sometimes declines, um, a quote from Midsummer Night Dreams by Shakespeare. It's, um, you know, talks about the bloom falling off the rose. It talks about, you know, time, time waning and taking away feelings. So this person has a fear of you giving up, of you losing. And I feel like that's a, a, a mirrored energy. I feel like you guys are worried that too much time is passing, that this person's going to stop caring. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. And we have praying hands as well. We have the button that makes me think of mending a situation and the need for that. And this shell reminds me of the high priestess. Whenever I say, you know, I say that shells remind me of high, when a shell's in this position, it reminds me of the high priestess. When a shell is fanned out, it reminds me of the empress. So here we have the high priestess. She holds secrets. You can't see inside the inner workings of this shell, but there's also a hole in it. So this person is feeling a disconnect. They're feeling like something is missing and they want to express it. We also have a commandment from the Bible here and it says, Thou shalt not make graven images. This, this charm always shows up for me when somebody's holding you up on a level of importance that should have, that should be traditionally um, reserved for something like God. <laughs> or you're like, they're just holding you up on that really, really important pedestal. Okay, group one, that is your reading, your feelings versus your person's feelings. If this, if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment. I love to read them. Um, if you feel called to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and even liking this video helps me out so much. Um, and if you feel called to as well, head on over to Instagram because I do a lot of different things over there. I do offer giveaways on a monthly basis. So head on over there and check me out if you feel called to. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next group. And I just really hope that you guys will join me on another day here at the Tarot Cottage. Bye guys. Hello everybody in group two. I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for joining me today at the Tarot Cottage. You guys were drawn to the frog spirit and this beautiful purple lily. And this is your reading, um, a check in between your feelings versus this person's feelings. Um, the frog spirit often represents female energy, but it doesn't have to. Um, you don't have to be a female watching this video or you don't even have to be asking about a female, but it brings good luck. The frog spirit brings good luck. They traverse the water and the land pretty easily. So I feel like you or your person are both very, maybe you're both very able and in touch with your spiritual side, able to connect easily with each other um, on that realm because of your, the frog is just easy. Like they're, they're able to, to handle life on, on earth and they're able to they're attached and, and they're in touch with their spiritual side, with their emotional side. So I feel like that could be a quality that you and your person share together. So let's take a look at your energy first. How are you feeling about this person? I'm going to draw some cards for you. We have Queen of Cups. So you are in love <laughs> with this person. How are you feeling for this person? What are your feelings for them? Two of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys are really in love. Two of Cups really talks about soulmates and you are really in love with this person. The Queen of Cups, she puts a lid on her cup. She doesn't let anything fall out. The Nine of Cups, oh my gosh. This person, oh, you are, oh, you guys are so sweet. I don't, <laughs> Nine of Cups really represents a dream come true. This person is like your ultimate, your person. It's your person, the lovers, you guys. Holy mackerel. Six of Swords. How do 
you feel about this person? The Empress. Oh my goodness, you guys. Five of Wands is on the back of the deck. So let's talk about how you're feeling for this person. Let's start over here with the Five of Wands because that's really one of the only um, truly negative cards in this reading. And um, the Five of Wands just shows conflict, shows maybe a little bit of competition. Maybe you feel like you're a little bit in competition for this person's affections. Um, maybe you are feeling like there are some obstacles or struggles in the way of this connection. Maybe there's been some painful memories in the past or some sort of conflict in the past. But truly, how you feel about this person, you are attracted to them. You are deeply in love with them. It's like you hold them on a very high pedestal. You think that they are abundant and beautiful and gorgeous and handsome and whatever the case may be, you feel very strongly for them. And I feel that way because of this beautiful Queen of Cups energy, the Lover's energy, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Empress. They are all just such a beautiful, loving, rose-colored glasses type of energy. Like you really think this person would be a dream come true to have in your life. And that's what the Nine of Cups represents. It represents the ultimate, the ultimate dream. You know, this is wishes granted. This is, you know, your ultimate fantasy. And this is what this person represents. You feel like it's a soulmate connection. You have a deep, deep love for them. You could definitely be a water sign. Um, and the lover's card really shows that love, that connection, that attraction that you feel. It is also a sign of soulmate energy. Um, the empress as well, just abundance. They are literally perfect in your eyes. They are perfection. Um, and you want to express that to them. The six of swords in the middle of this reading are the only thing that's sort of throwing me off a little bit. I'm going to get a clarity for it. But the six of swords is about moving into a calmer place, moving out of, you know, and it, because it's about swords, it's about mental energy, it's about truth, it's about moving this into a truthful place. So I feel like maybe you've been hiding these feelings for this person with this five of wands. It's really causing the conflict, not being able to express yourself. But let's see, get some clarity on that six of swords. Queen of swords. Six of cups. So I feel like you guys have not been able to garner up with the knight of pentacles, garner up the courage to reveal your truth. To this person it's like you've been waiting around to really reveal your true depth of feeling for them and you know spirits telling it and the six of cups shows me that there's somebody maybe from your past a friend from your past that you knew that you have known for a really long time um and you have never been truthful about your true feelings it's taken you a really long time up to this point um of maintaining this connection without really revealing your truth. And that's what this Queen of Swords is talking about. She wants you to reveal her truth. She does not beat around the bush. She is, a you know, there's a real dichotomy here between the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. This is a slow moving energy, but she's swift in her actions. She is slicing through those mistruths and getting right to the bottom of things. And I feel like that's what <laughs> the call from spirit for you is to, you know, move in this connection, to be truthful. We have the Seven of Cups. You may feel like this person has a lot of options besides you. Um, you could fantasize about this person quite a bit as well. Three of Wands. You might want to travel with them. Two of Wands. Lots of fiery passion that you want to explore with this person. And on the back of the deck, we have the beautiful King of Cups. We have the beautiful King of Cups up here. The beautiful King of Cups right here. Well matched ying to your yang it's like you know that you guys belong together in your heart of hearts you're like we are perfect for each other we would rule well together you know king and queen energy and you really desire that expansion you fantasize about being able to express yourself physically to being able to expand this connection and you're really truly just waiting around for the perfect opportunity but spirit is here to tell you with this beautiful queen of swords to create your own opportunity how you've been, you know, how you've been handling this connection in the past hasn't worked out for you. Um, it's just making you grow impatient. It is, there is a steady progression towards your goal, I feel, with this King of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles. He does make steady progression. Um, but Spirit's calling for you for expansion, for action. I feel like you do desire that with this person. And you feel like it's, it's meant to be, feels meant to be. Let's take a look at your person's energy now. How are they feeling about you? How is this person feeling about you in this connection? 
I'm going to try to maybe shift these things over a smidgen just so that we can, I don't want to mess up your cards in case you guys like to look over them as I talk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. How's this person feeling about you in this connection? What are their feelings? We see you completely gaga over them. <laughs> Okay, so coming out first is the beautiful Three of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Definitely could be a water sign, this person. We have the Seven of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Six of Wands, and on the back of the deck we have um, the Queen of Swords. So let's talk about your person's feelings. I'm going to get a little bit of clarity as well from this little deck. Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles again, okay. And we have the Five of Swords on the back of this little deck here. So let's talk about your person, how are they feeling about you in this connection. So we're going to talk about the back of deck energy first, this Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Swords doesn't show her emotions um, on her sleeve, obviously she's very logical and grounded but the thing about the queen of swords too is that like she cuts people out of her life if she feels she needs to i feel like this person is not is maybe acting a little bit cold to you or maybe there is a disconnect here and the reason why i gained clarity on these cards is because we have this three of cups here explained by this ten of pentacles so i want to know you know what is this about is this about your person really wanting, is this someone from your past, a friend from your past that you started to build a foundation with? That could be the case for some of you. Um, but for some of you, I feel like this person may be in a new relationship or and they're kind of juggling these feelings. And when it comes to you, they could see you in a new relationship or they could be in a new relationship, you know, building up a foundation with someone else. Because we do have the Ten of Pentacles showing up twice here. It really does show family situations, kind of stability, building up a foundation with someone. And we have the two of pentacles. So I see them juggling. I see them juggling their feelings. I see them juggling their feelings for you. And then we have this five of cups, which shows the sadness from the past. It shows remorse for not expressing themselves to you from the past. It shows all of those, you know, these eggs are broken and there's a lot of sadness there but she's not turning around and seeing those beautiful eggs that are, are presenting themselves. And that there's that real sense of regret from the past of not coming forward and expressing themselves to you. They could have really wanted to build that foundation with you and they could have really seen you as an option for forever. But now I see them kind of in this place of hiding their feelings. It's like they're trying to move on away from this deception. They're trying to move on from the past, um, but they're hiding their true feelings for you. As much as they're trying to move forward and trying to pretend like everything is, is going well for them, because that's really, you know, this six of wands can show, can show victory and, and, and finally making it to where you want. But the seven of wands shows those obstacles in getting there shows the obstacles like they they see you as as someone who they could be really happy with but there's so many obstacles in the way of this connection that they can't see a clear path towards you and in some cases when i see the six of wands it shows me that your person is kind of faking it in real life they're kind of putting on the show of happiness putting on a show of stability um despite the fact that they're actually hiding these feelings they're hiding feelings for you the high priestess holds hidden hidden thoughts and feelings inside her you know she sits up she sits upon these these hidden not really a hidden agenda but just she doesn't reveal herself 
She likes to keep control of the situation by not revealing herself. The Eight of Cups, you know, shows, if you think of the traditional Rider Waite deck, you think of the Eight of Cups and you see that moon in the background. I always focus on the moon. Um, again, hidden feelings, wanting to walk away from the dishonesty of the past and moved into a more honest future with this Queen of Swords. She's about honesty. This person would love to clear the air, but they don't see a clear path towards you right now. And they really are focused on the past and what they've broken, what hasn't happened and what hasn't developed here between you. All of the, you know, it's like they put all their eggs in one basket and then they've noticed that some of those eggs have cracked. And because some of those eggs have cracked, they're like, well, then that's it. The basket's ruined. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more clarity. How does this person feel about you? What do they wish that you could understand about their feelings? We have the Ace of Cups. They have a desire. We have the Three of Swords. They want to apologize to you. They want to come forward and offer you a new start. They wish that they could come forward and apologize because they do have passion for you. Um, and when it comes to you, they feel kind of greedy and possessive. Like, it doesn't matter how much time goes on. They feel like you are still theirs. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's that certain sense of that song by... by um, that song by Usher, you know, always be my boo. It's that kind of feeling like you guys have such a deep entrenched history together that the love can't go anywhere, but they see it's hard for them because they don't see a clear path. They don't see a clear path towards you. The three of swords shows me the heartbreak, the sadness they feel right now with the disconnect. They want to express themselves physically. They want to show you all of their emotions. Um, and it's almost becoming a burden for them. They want to come forward with an apology for not bringing this offer in sooner. But they're hiding their feelings. I just saw the emperor on the back of the deck. You know, they're hiding their feelings. They're trying to be logical. The emperor wants to come out so bad. It just keeps trying to flip out. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to um, be stoic. Six of Pentacles and the Death card. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position on the back of the deck. We have the Eight of Cups up here as well. So I do see your person, you know, knowing that there needs to be a shift. The Death card, the, the Six of Pentacles shows them wanting to be generous with you. They want to level out the playing field. They want to have balance restored here. And the Death card, you know, people get really scared about the Death card. They see it and they get really intimidated. But the truth is is that the death is about a transition. It's about the need for change. You have such deep affinity for this person and they have really strong affinity for you too, but how things are right now is not working. There's no movement here. They, they can't see the forest through the trees in the state that things are right now. But it shows, you know, the Eight of Cups in the reverse position shows them learning from the past, shows them learning from these past mistakes, shows them desiring for change, you know, wants, they want to move forward in this connection. And, and I feel like saying they want to move forward away from these feelings of loss. Even if it doesn't mean moving in a connection with you on a physical plane, they still want to move this connection into a happier place. They want to bring forth this Three of Swords. They want to bring forth that apology to kind of level out the playing field, to kind of restore balance here. And if they're able to do that, maybe they will be able to see a clear path towards the victory that they would hope to see with you with that Six of Wands. That's really what they would like to see in the future is victory with you. But this apology, this, you know, the ba unbalanced energy here needs to be balanced out. There needs to be truth. The Queen of Swords needs to come forward. You know, all of this needs to be revealed. All of these deep affectionate feelings you have need to be revealed. Attraction. Such a level of attraction, especially on your, you are so attracted to this person. Oh, you have, there's a lot of fiery energy here. Finances and career could be a factor in this connection right now. It could be one of the things, one of the obstacles holding your person back. Forgiving and learning as well, that forgiveness, the, the apology that they want to bring forth for maybe not acting um, in the past in a way that was conducive to this connection, that was 
that honored it. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And I feel like you have held out that faith. Like you are the optimistic one in this, in this connection today. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like this person does dream about that. They want to come forward and they want to whisk you away on a secret, secret holiday where that taking you away where nobody knows you, where nobody knows either one of you. Let's see what they would say to you. What are they thinking, feeling about you in this connection? So we have, oh, I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to tap that. Sorry, I had to take a drink. I've had some people complaining in the comment section when I take a drink of my tea. I'm sorry if it's loud. You are a goddess. So they have a really high affection for you. They think you're gorgeous. Their attraction for you is, is huge. And they're fantasizing about you. I feel like you're fantasizing about this person too, especially that seven of cups. You know, you're in fantasy land. You're dreaming about them. You're trying to keep your vibration high. I have things left that I need to say to you. And that's, you know, they want to apologize. They want to talk to you about the past. They want to mull it all out to get that closure. The distance between us is killing me. And I'm haunted by this situation. On the back of the deck, I wish that I had been more honest with you. I feel like pulling that card. In a perfect world, you would be mine. And no one knows I'm thinking about you. No one knows about this fe these feelings I ha still have. Whoops. Still have for you. We need to talk. <laughs> they want to talk to you. They're wondering what you're doing from day to day. They think about that when they're looking at the window. They're wondering, what are they doing? I'm learning to live without you. I get that sense from like that scene from the notebook also in the back of the deck. It will never be over between us though. That scene from the notebook where he says to her, you know, I've lived without you once. I could probably do it again if I thought that's what you wanted, but it's not what I want because you can really get a use to anything. Can't you? You can oh, hold on guys. I just lost a bunch. Okay. I'm very long winded today, guys. I apologize. <laughs> Just all the time. Get you guys a couple more. Okay, let's see what your charms. The Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles waiting patiently around for this King energy, waiting patiently for the stability that you desperately want in this connection. And there is, you know, the Seven of Pentacles has been called the Impatience card. So I feel like you guys are growing impatience for that stability. Could also be a representation of, you know, finances and career being a, a factor. This person could be building up their finances. We have the guitar pick, V, A, G, and M. Guitar pick and the little, um, the little charm that looks like an elephant. Always makes me think about, oops, sorry guys, about India and good luck. We also have, you know, the pearl of wisdom. I feel like this disconnection period is really giving your person clarity of mind. We have this rune of breakthrough, increase, and in security. It indicates that the light of the world shines brightly upon you. Growth may not always be dramatic, but it will be steady and sure. It is a tremendously positive rune and can overcome the negativity of those around it. So that's a very good sign for this connection. Okay, group two, that is your reading. This is your feelings for you versus your feelings for them versus your person's feelings for you. Um, if this resonated, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Um, head on over to Instagram if you're over there. I'm also on Instagram. And even liking this video helps me out. So I just really hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Hello everybody in group three. I hope you're doing amazing today. You guys were drawn to the octopus spirit and the pink flower. And this is your reading. You versus them, your feelings for your person versus their feelings for you. The octopus spirit 
is obviously a water creature. Um, very, very intelligent, very in tune with their emotional side as well because they are a water animal. And I'm always drawn to, you know, the fact that they're in the depth here, but their crown is all lit up. So it's really a call from spirit to focus on truth, to focus on your intelligence in this situation, to be clear with the universe about what you want, what you see, what you desire, um, and then making steps and actions towards it. I feel like you're a really good multitasker as well. I'm getting some weird feelings about that card, but we'll go back to that in a minute. <clears throat> now, let's see. How do you feel about this person? What are your feelings? Let's start there. Let's start with your feelings for your person. How are you feeling currently? So we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Empress coming out so far. I'm going to get some cards out and then we're going to talk about their energies. How are you feeling? Temperance. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, and on the back of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So let's talk about how you're feeling for this person. We're going to start over here with the Eight of Swords with the back of the deck energy. And I always start, I try to start with the back of the deck energy because I feel like it's an overhaul of how you're currently feeling in your current state right now about this person. <clears throat> and I feel that way. I feel like you guys are feeling kind of restricted, kind of stuck. Um, in this connection, it's like you don't know how to move forward and you're hoping like they have this little hummingbird, <clears throat> this little hummingbird imagery here. And it really shows that you're really hoping for change. You're really hoping for it's like that sense of hope being held, holding on to that hope. And the eight of swords is truly um, a call from spirit to remind you that it is a self-imposed imprisonment. It's these if you take a look around, if you take your your masks off you will see that your problems, your insecurities are really farther away than what you actually think they are. Um, how you're feeling about this person is I feel like you think you're well balanced to this person. You would like to be generous with them. Maybe they've been generous with you in the past. You have a lot of passion you want to express and you think they're very attractive um, with this beautiful empress energy. You hold them up on a really high pedestal. You think they're abundant and you have a lot of passion that you want to express to them with this knight of wands it could be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius they don't have to be but just a lot of passion and fire and i feel like you have been waiting patiently and working really hard emotionally to, to move towards this person you've gained a lot of clarity you could have met this person in school or in a work situation i just see this eight of pentacles as work you know putting a lot of energy into something and it's also a reminder from spirit with the the spider imagery that you weave your own future. So I feel like you guys are hardworking. I feel like you're working towards some goals and that's maybe where you met this person. And I see you wanting to put the effort in to this connection. Like you're willing to put that effort in because you've gained a lot of clarity on the importance of this person in your life. You've gained clarity on how attractive you find them. And <clears throat> part of that clarity has made you feel a little restricted. Maybe you're not feeling as you know, confident in yourself as you should be feeling. Whoops, yeah, we have this flipped over. We have the hermit. How are you feeling for this person? What are your current feelings for this person? The nine of cups, all oh, beautiful. And the five of pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like we also have the five of swords on the back of the deck. I feel like, um, you know, you're kind of lonely. You can be a Virgo. Um, you're feeling kind of lonely. You're holding up that hope for this person. Maybe you feel have a fear of expressing your true feelings towards them. Um, the Nine of Cups really shows that this person is like your ultimate. Like they are a dream come true. They're perfect for you. Um, they may not be the perfect person, but they're perfect for you. And that's how you feel. Like they would be a dream come true to be in a relationship with them or to be able to have them in your life. The Five of Pentacles shows though that you're feeling a poverty within yourself. You hold them on a high pedestal, but that poverty you feel of not maybe not having enough to offer them, um, not having enough physically to offer them or not having enough emotionally to offer them or just feeling really low in yourself. 
which no one ever likes to see. Let's shift gears and see how your person is feeling about you. Let's shift a few gears here. How is your person currently thinking, feeling about you in this connection? We have the Six of Wands. We have two coming out, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So I want to just say off the bat that if you're feeling kind of low in yourself and you feel like you don't have a lot to offer, I feel like this person sees themselves as a page as well. I see them, they see themselves as someone who doesn't have the confidence of a knight or a king coming forward. So you guys are mirrored in this energy. So if you're thinking that you're the only one feeling this way, your person's also kind of feeling like, well, what do I have to offer? <laughs> like, Whoops, just lost the card. It is the Five of Wands. Hold on, I'll grab it. On the back of the deck, we have the Magician. So they want to communicate some things to you. And what do they want to communicate? They want to communicate to you that they want to be truthful with their true feelings. And they're feeling stuck. We have the Eight of Swords on both sides. They're feeling imprisoned by their own, how they deem their own inabilities or their own I don't even know what word to use. Like, I, I want to use the word, like, they feel a lack within themselves. Um, they don't feel like they have the confidence to move forward, and it's really restricting them. They want to come forward with their true feelings for you, too. They want to offer you an emotional new start, but they may feel like they're in competition for you sometimes. They may feel like um, they don't get your full attention at times with the Five of Wands. They're feeling restricted. They're feeling like they want to reveal their truth to you. And this magician card on the back of the deck shows that communication, shows them wanting to communicate that with you. The, the magician is about manifestation. I feel like they're trying to manifest you. So if you're feeling restricted over here and not wanting to reveal your truth, they're also feeling the exact same way. And the two of you are going to be butting heads. It's like stuck between a rock and a hard place if neither one of you want to express yourselves. The Knight of Swords sees them having the desire of charging forward, but they are feeling stuck and unable to do so because maybe they feel like there's something else taking your attention right now or maybe they're completely un they're not completely 100% sure of your feelings for them we have this six of wands that shows them wanting that success with you they want to be triumphant and they know that the only way to do so is to be more honest in this connection how does this person feel for you it's so funny when you see such mirrored energy this feels like a very young, you guys seem very intelligent. Like, you guys, again, I feel like you guys went to school together for some of you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Queen of Swords. Oh, the Death and the Ten of Cups. They popped right out. So let's, King of Swords. Okay, so let's talk about this. I feel like pulling this one too, the Ten of Wands here. So people often will see the death card and be really upset and be like, well, I don't know what to do now because there's the death card. That means there's no hope for us. And that's completely untrue when it comes to tarot. I see death as an opportunity. And we have the queen of swords. Again, she is about truth. This person wants to tell you their truth. They want to express to you what their truth is. And you want to express to them what your truth is. And you're feeling a lack in yourself. And they're feeling a lack in themselves. And it's like you guys just need to come together and be like, I feel this. And they'll be like, I feel that too. It'll, it'll be a really good transition if you can get yourselves out of these feel this self-imposed imprisonment that you're both putting yourselves in. And accept the death of this so that you can have the rebirth of something amazing. And you can have a, a transition into something incredible. And the transition that they really hope for is this Ten of Cups, is happiness. The utmost happiness, building up a life together. You know, the Ten of Cups represents joy, family, reunion, success, security, everything you could want. If, you know, if this person over here is your ultimate if you're feeling really strongly that they are a dream come true, they're having that feelings for those feelings for you as well with this Ten of Cup energy. They really want to end up with you. And I feel like they've been holding these feelings for you for a while. These, this, these flames, they have not put them down and they're becoming heavy. Truth is needed. They feel you're well matched in your energies. You're both logical. You're both intelligent people. Again, I feel like some of you are going to school with this person or working with this person. 
Um, they feel like you guys have a very well-matched energy and they, I feel like some of them are going to be coming forward with news. They need to take off those masks and stop imprisoning themselves in fear. Fear lies to us. Fear tells us we are not capable when we absolutely are 100% capable. Um, and I do see this person, you know, coming forward for some of you, coming forward with that information. But you have to also be, honesty is paramount. Let go of the control issue. Stop trying to control the situation. You're both trying to feel each other out. It's not working out. Let go of those control issues so that you can have success here. Let your friends help you. You guys might have mutual friends or maybe you guys are just friends right now. Help each other out with honesty. If you're truly friends, then it's important to be honest with your friends. Talk to them about the chemistry you're feeling. Talk to them about the feelings that you're having. Because it's starting to become like a kind of almost like a ridiculous situation, I feel, between the two of you. Like you both know about each other's feelings, but the honesty isn't there. And in this sense, you know, I feel like you guys spend a lot of time just looking at the window, wistfully thinking, what's this person doing? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And you do deserve love. Get yourself out of these feelings of lack. Get yourself out of this feeling of the five of pentacles like you don't have enough to offer. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve to, to be loved. <laughs> Card, you guys. You send me mixed signals. So is there some flirting, some pullback, some push-pull? It's like a cat and mouse game. I didn't realize I loved you until it felt like it was too late. And it, I don't feel like it's too late here. But there is a feeling of lack on your side. You're feeling a lack within yourself. The separation is killing me. So you guys may have been disconnected because of COVID. Your person is saying, I'm coming. I'm coming. The clarity has really came in for them. The distance between us is killing me. See, you guys, mirrored energy. If you guys are separated because of this COVID situation or you're not in school right now because of that situation, um, you're feeling one way. Your person's like, okay, you're saying this separation really sucks. And they're saying this separation really sucks. <laughs> they really, they feel the same way. I didn't follow my heart. I wasn't completely honest. They're dreaming about the life that they could have with you. Um, and I don't feel like it's too late for this connection. I really don't. I'm learning to live without you. <laughs> but I feel like you guys have been forced apart. Like, I feel like there's been some things at play, like in the world, that have forced you to part. I'm feeling sick over this. And they're also saying that you light up the room. You light up their room. That is so cute. I miss your touch is another message coming through for you today. And they're saying, get out of my head. Like, that's, you're all I'm thinking about. I can't focus on other things. You're driving me nuts. I just saw you drive me insane, but it didn't come out. <laughs> you were meant for me. We are meant to be together. They do feel that sense of fate with you. Um, on the back of the deck, we have... Sorry, it's flipped over. My whole world is falling apart. Oh, that's... <laughs> Why is it falling apart? I'll pull that card in case you guys want to see it. Some charms for you. I try to pick a couple of cards that I can't see. All right, let's see. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, so Spirit is really calling you guys to stop focusing on everything that's been knocked over or the mistakes of the past or the inaction of the past and to turn around and take a look. You know, the Queen of Swords is about truth. She slices through any mis misconceptions that you might have. And there, you know, it's a call from Spirit to turn around, take a look around. The insecurities you're feeling are actually not as, as or should not be as prevalent as they are because you have a lot going for you. And there's a lot of hope in this connection. You, we also have the bell, which, you know, the desire for communication, the desire for getting someone's attention, as well as the microphone. But the microphone could also be music related because we do have the pick as well, the guitar pick. 
this little um, charm with the crossbones makes me think of like poison and it's weird because we have this um, codependency card and I think of the devil energy sometimes when I see this card and so it just feels like this person's becoming addicted to you like if they became addicted to you to having you around all the time so it's like a real sense of feeling tethered to you a tethered type of feeling we also have the good luck what does that say a four-leaf clover for good luck here and the initial you okay group three that is your reading your feelings versus your person's feelings if this resonated with your situation please leave me a comment in the comment section if you feel called to head on over to instagram i do offer a free mini reading um, on a monthly basis the next off the next opportunity to win that will be coming up in a couple of days actually um, so head on over to instagram if you're over there i would love to see you over there otherwise i just hope to see you guys here on another day at the tarot cottage thank you so much for joining me guys bye